amount of force. We actually went through and had a geotechnical analysis of it. We're sitting on rock, so our concern was earthquake. You know, we had an earthquake here a few years back. What type of earthquake loads would be generated at this location? We're sitting on solid shell rock, so I mean, worst case scenario, we're really we're we're really in good shape. It, it should not have any problems whatsoever. We have a retaining wall that we're trying to develop about six acres here uh, and make it a uh, commercial development. Part of the issue regards to specifications for the blocks of the retaining wall. Uh, right now we're trying to finalize the contract with our general contractor. We just recently had a change order that will address some of the delays that we incurred through the project. Um, right now uh, we were about six weeks behind in delivering blocks to the contractor. Uh, they were delivered somewhat out of specifications. We're working with the manufacturer on that and right now the relationships are real good and we're addressing those issues. The wall itself is about 900 feet long, plus or minus. The highest point on the wall is 28 feet. Okay, yeah, we're four feet this way. It's 48 inches and then 24 inches this way. It's about two feet thick, uh, but each block, if you will, each individual segment is about 14, 1500 pounds in weight. It's a gravity retain wall, which basically means it, it acts as one large block and there's a lot of gravel behind it. City officials are hopeful that any issues will be quickly resolved. Sarah McCallion reporting for the Broken Arrow Ledger.